So how do these recorded files get their names anyway? Normally, any files that are created are automatically named. Any files recorded in stereo mode are named STE followed by a three digit number. If you've used mono mix, then the prefix will be mono followed by a three digit number. Now remember that this is not actually a, a mono file, but a stereo file with the single input panned right up uh, the middle of the stereo field. Now in four channel mode, the files are given the prefix 4CH. These files are automatically given their names and the file numbers grow sequentially. So like STE000, then 001002, and so on. You can, however, set the H4N to timestamp the name only in stereo mode. This only applies in stereo mode. Follow me. Go to menu, record, and down to file name. And we're given a couple of different choices here. The default gives you all the file names that we just discussed, or you can choose date here, which will place the date as the prefix. I could select that right here. Now the date is actually taken from the system clock. If I was to X out of this, and go down to system, where system, that's right, and then you can set your date and time right here just by selecting whatever has the focus right there and then selecting it again and then you can move the focus around and change the date and time there. As soon as you get to the place where you actually want to change something, then you select that by pressing the dial and then make your changes you like. And now all recordings will be automatically stamped with the date uh, that you recorded them. I, I should say, actually say that the files will be date stamped if they are recorded in stereo mode. Uh, there is no provision uh, to date stamp uh, in recordings in the other two modes. As you're speaking of stereo files, you can actually change the file names after the fact, if you like. Follow me. Press file. Select the file that you want to rename and then press the data wheel. And then we'll just move down to the rename option, select that and then rename that to anything you want. Now note that this can only be done on files created in stereo mode and MTR mode and not on the four channel files. By the way, speaking of modes, there's a small switch in the battery compartment if you pull off the battery called stamina. Now, if you switch that to the left, your battery time will go from about six hours to about 11 hours. There's some power management functions that get called up to really stretch out the life of a pair of AA batteries. Now, one other thing before we leave, there's a small jack on the rear that allows you to plug in an external mic just above the speaker on the back of the unit. This can take any external stereo mic that terminates into an eighth inch jack. Uh, once you plug something in there, that will automatically take over from the two built-in ones on the top. My experience is that I've never found any consumer level mics that you better plug in here that would be any better than the ones you already have here. So I'd normally leave the external mics in the realms, the ones that you can connect via the high quality uh, cables on the bottom. You'll get much, much better results. But if you do use one of those little cheap stereo mics, that's the place uh, to plug it in. So that is field recording using the either the built-in mics or the two inputs. You can record either single file in two channel mode or four channel mode. Now let's look at a completely different way to record.